I played the brand new Clash game. Let's take a look. Welcome back to the channel then, guys. I'm your host, Judo Sloth. We have a brand new game in development by Supercell. This is Clash Quest, and I am trying it for the first time. This is a turn-based tactical strategy game. Looks like the Barbarian is ready to go, so let's click that. He is targeting the cannon. Let's just let him do his thing. We might as well follow the tutorial along. He damaged the cannon but he did not take it out. Come on, let's get it together. We do have a combo which we can use. Now this game is all about gathering combos together. So let's use the archers plus 40% damage. The bigger the group, the bigger the combo bonus. We have wizards. Let's show you our magic trick. Oh my goodness. They are going to wipe everything out stage completed so here we go stage cleared so it wants me to use the barbarian first simple enough he will run to the nearest target then the prince has the shining armor blah 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 let's keep going the range side the archer can shoot over the wall so all of the units work exactly the same to clash of clans the wizard has less range but has splash damage each troop is different it's up to you to use them efficiently i think i want to use this one wizard Let's use that wizard. Did a little bit of damage. Watch out. Those cannons look they're about to fire. Okay, so you can see the number one next to the cannons. The number next to the enemies count down to their next attack. Okay, and the skull next to the barbarians means my barbarian and archer are going to get taken out. So why don't we use the archer since we get two times combo damage? Barbarian went down. I still haven't busted the wall yet. Why don't we use the barbarian for 20 percent damage boost opening up the wall kind of got a little bit of damage three times combo with the archers let's use the archers take those cannons down and look at the amount of princes that we have five times combo damage 80 percent let's go the prince will finish things off and what is really cool you can damage and take out the wall oh we can actually click the buildings in order to see their level and their remaining health but you can damage the wall and take it out from the previous stage you just can't attack the new buildings in the next stage you can also see the amount of damage by hovering over the troops that we will gain so check this out the wizards do a good amount of damage to the cannon and wizard tower. But let's look at the barbarian. Look at the damage on that wizard tower because of the combo. The barbarians are what we have to use. And now it is easy pickings, my friends. We can close our eyes. We can select anything because the stage is completed. Fantastic stuff. All three stars. It's just like Clash of Clans, but every single star gives us a bonus, a reward. There seems a lot more islands to explore. There certainly is. And does it let us? No, it's actually wanting us to continue through this. Still on the tutorial, but we will be checking things out as we move forward. My second ever level on Clash Quest. As we scroll up, we have two wizard towers in the remaining levels. And if you notice, at the very bottom we have even more troops this is once i have attacked let's say with this barbarian we will have something else move into the bottom area of the map but this is random we cannot pick what it is we've nicely lined up a bunch of princes plus 60 percent damage let's go let's press the prince and through they will go oh we wasted one one of them ran through the fence and it is wasted do not do that even though I scroll up, you can only attack the stage you are at. And you always want to try and use your troops that are about to be taken out by the defenses. So there we are. The archer can take that. Cleared stage one. What's the best thing we can do here? Let's hover over the troops real quick. I think it has to be the wizards. You always want to maximize the combo damage. Oh, look at all of these barbarians. If I use the archer, maybe we could get a bunch of barbarians together. Look at that. Let's go. 80% combo damage and the troops will path and target buildings exactly the same as Clash of Clans. It is their brand new game, still in beta, early beta I might add. And let's use the archers to finish stage two or level two is completed. There we are, we get a couple of other items that we can... What is this? Energy. 
This lets you play through battles and you can purchase more energy in the shop. Although right now there is no creator code. You know that you can use code judo inside of Clash of Clans or any Supercell game. But let's move to the third level. Click the squad tab. Oh, check this out. I'm getting the Clash Royale vibe from this one. You can see the unit stats, items, and what costs it is to upgrade. So we can upgrade the Barbarian to level two. He is now stronger for battles. Look at those Archer Towers. They look a little bit more upgraded unless, well, they're level one Archer Towers. Is it the first time I've seen an Archer Tower? I guess it is. That's why it looks different. So what do we have? No real combos. We've got one combo with the archers. So if I use the wizard here though, then the archers will move forward. And I actually have better combo with the archers than I think oh, it's still only times three. Let's use the barbarians. I want to try my best to build a huge combo for you guys in this one. Oh, but the archers are going to get taken out. Look, because the cannon is about to fire and both archers are going down. So I take it back. Let's just use the the archers get that times three combo damage we have all of the princes five times combo damage but we still have three princes at the bottom of the screen and it is three turns before the archers will fire so let's see if we can get some prince combos moving here two more turns before the archers but we don't want to waste the princes either i think they will have enough health in order to survive this yes only the archer will be taken out, look. But I think I will sacrifice that and not let the princes take damage. What is this question mark over the prince? Is that telling me I should do it? I'm not sure. I want to use the wizards. They took out the archer tower before it dealt damage. We still have three princes down here, but they are not moving into the board just yet. Plus 100 damage at this stage. One of them are going to get taken out. What is it taking that prince out? It's the archer tower. Could we take the Archer Tower down? No. 100% damage. Six times combo. Now is the time. We've actually wasted two princes this time. And granted, we might have tried to swag troops too much. And we may struggle with this level. Have I wasted too many troops? I only have one more wizard left to enter the board. So this is everything. The game starts off relatively simple, but... You do then get a lot more complex tasks. Let's use the Barbarians, get a little bit of combo damage. I think we're good here. We can still get this one. Wizards with the combo damage. And we... Oh, don't tell me I spoke too soon. Do not tell me I spoke too soon. The Prince opens the wall. The Archer will take down the Archer Tower. We need to stop messing around because that was close. And we are still on level one. What is this thing? You found Fireball, a ball of fire that deals damage to a three by three area. So we can move on up and look at all of the islands. Wow, this is pretty intense. We are just going to be playing through the initial couple of levels today, but be sure to subscribe because maybe in the future, I will bring you some more videos on this every once and a while. Looks like we can use my favorite spell. The wizard with the fireball, obviously. There we go, fireball. I don't want to quite use this prince yet because I'm wasting the damage on the wall. So why don't I use barbarians to take out one of those walls first? Princes are going to take damage, look. You can see the blue icon flashing, but they're not going to be taken out. So I think I'm going to use my archers. See if we can stack some more princes, which we can't. More archers, maybe? Let's use them. We might as well use the prince right at the end. One of them got taken out. Revenge. Send them all. Oh, I wasted one again. <laughs> We need to stop wasting troops, but the wizards can revenge the prince. Oh my word. Again, I am being very unclever and I only had a couple of troops left. I think this is something that as you move through, you are going to have to continue to upgrade your troops. Otherwise, it could get very difficult. You are already seeing how difficult this is. And look, giant, the goblin, pecker, the zap. There are so many items. Look at the baby dragon found somewhere in the elixir springs. I'll try and maybe be a little bit more tactical, I guess. Let's see. Wizard Tower has 150. Okay, so we need to protect the princes at this stage. Look, we've still got three turns before the cannon and wizard tower go and two turns before these two cannons go. So what if we use this one prince 
to open up the wall. Then we use this. None of the princes are going to be taken out, but this one now will. The bottom cannon and the wizard tower. So I think it's worth it. I think that was worth it because this is the final stage. We have more than enough troops here. Archers with the combo damage. Then we can use the barbarians with the 60% extra damage. Level completed. What do we get though? Extra gold, extra gold, elixir pots. West tokens. Oh, that's different. Nothing as of yet. What is the rest of this? 70 stars to get into the league? I am only on 15. And we need 20 stars to get to the shop. So at the moment, there's not a lot more we can do. Now we have the Goblin King. <sighs> Salutations. Might I inquire who you are? The true Goblin King. I don't care what you have to say, buddy. I just want to take you down. Is this the mysterious Goblin King that rules the Goblin maps in Clash of Clans? Let's do Clash of Clans justice. We might as well use our spell straight away. Fireball. Let's use the wizards, get a little bit damaged, but here he goes. Oh, that was a good hit, but he didn't even take out an archer. Okay, he's moved back across. He is going to take out this Barbarian, though. So we're still going to miss with two, but I think we best use it now. Look at the damage. We've got nothing else. This is it. Only these troops remain versus the Goblin King. Times five damage with the Wizards. Are we going to fail? I need to be careful here. Let's use the Wizard and line up the two Princes as if he moved to the right. Oh, three Archers. We are going to take his health down by half right now. Come on, we have to take out the Goblin King on the first time. Barbarian to this side. Let's use it. I want both princes lined up. Oh, the Barbarian's going to go down. I can use that. Is he taking the prince? He's not. I think he's done. I think he's done. He is. Look at the skull above him. Goblin King is defeated. You defeated the Goblin King. I love it. And there is a floating giant. I think I know what that means. We have unlocked the giant. Let's go. And a chest. Let's see what's in here. 1,000 gold. Let's go to the upgrade board. And we have the giant. Giant attacks defensive buildings first. Of course. That's what he does in Clash of Clans. Let's take a look at Unsafe Island. When is the next boss? It doesn't look like there's an actual boss on this one, but we do have four levels to get through. You hover over the troops. It definitely looks helpful. Let's use a fireball. And the fireball does not use a turn. Notice that the numbers next to the defenses did not go down. So that is hugely important because this is going to be a game that is very much trying to balance me versus the computer. And we beat it. Good progress progress on your quest you can now check out what's available in the shop oh beautiful daily deals so we can get some elixir for free we can upgrade our prince though we don't have enough gold 14 gems it's for the video oh there's some of my gems gone to upgrade the prince to level three and this is going to help us throughout the rest of unsafe island how unsafe is it so we have one fireball everything resets after each level and it looks like there are more buildings at the very start so why don't we use the fireball just to begin and then we can go with this wizard does better damage though with the three times combo and now why don't we use the barbarian there we go use the barbarian finish that off and check this out guys we have a bunch lining up but we have a few turns Mm, I still have the six times combo, so I definitely need to use it. There we are. Fantastic right now. We need to get right of the way through this. Let's upgrade the Barbarian. I am not spending 74 gems this time. No, thank you, Supercell. No, thank you. We have two more levels until we complete this island. So let's go. Okay, Giants. Nicely taking down the defense straight away. Let's use the archer because she is about to go down. What's in the settings? I don't know why I just decided to... Can you fast forward it? Times four speed? Oh my word! That is so much quicker. I wasted the prince. Ah, maybe it's too quick. Times two. Let's try times two. Wow, the prince look is going to get us all of the way to the next level. I feel we have to do it. Can we turn it to... I wasn't quick enough. I wanted to turn it to times four mid-battle, but it wasn't happening. Okay, let's reef... Oh, what have I done? Do not times it to times four, guys, because right here, the fireball is not enough. The wizard is telling us as well, as if to rub salt in our wounds. Looks like you are out of troops, but you still have a spell. <laughs> Thank you so much. I have a fireball, as if it's the wizard telling me that. The map is expanding. So rather than three by three, we now have four by four. As the dev team told us, the game starts off simple, 
and does get more complex. And if I am failing already, oh, help me towards the end of the game. Two princes are going to go down, but check this out. Eight times combo, 140% extra damage, but two of them are going to be wasted. But even so, the extra damage you gain on the other troops is so worth it. That was incredible. Let's now use the archers and okay. Thank you, Clash Quest, for spoiling the end of the video. We're not even going to get it. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go, giant. Are you joking me? Islands unlocked. I don't care about islands. I want this map completed. We can move ahead and get the swap. This means we can swap the placing of two adjacent troops. That means we can get better combos. I think I'm determined to get the two stars here. So let's do it. That says the fireball there says it's going to hit everything. Do I need to place it in the middle? No, it doesn't. Why does the game tell me it's going to hit everything when it doesn't? Is it just telling me that I could hit everything? That is confusing to me. It does only hit a 3x3 tile radius as we just seen. So I should probably use it up here on the archer towers. Never mind. We've got a couple of archers. We can use that combo. Hmm. Okay. Let's just use the archers. It's really difficult to know. Do you use the barbarians? Do you then use... So one barbarian will go down here. Look, even if we sacrifice that one barbarian, it doesn't really help us get more combos. So I think I'm going to just go with the three times combo. It's all about combo damage. Look at this times five no more barbarians can enter if i had the swap i could swap oh i didn't mean to didn't mean to press it i could have swapped those barbarians let's use the five times combo damage try and take these buildings down princes are lining up very nicely times seven combo damage i don't want to use that combo just yet then as we move forward look at this times eight combo damage is it worth it nine times combo 160 damage let's go we only have two archer towers left the archer is about to go down so i think we should use the archer before we lose it that lines up the giants and there we go we will indeed complete it i knew we could as long as i concentrated a little bit that was awesome if you want to register your interest for this game clash.com is where you need to go to get all of the latest information if you want to see my clash of clans video where i as a maxed player dropped to the bronze league i have it linked on your screen alongside the subscribe button you guys take care enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next video